I have an International 504 tractor that I'm going to put a loader on. I'm replacing the pump. Got the pump out of it. Comes out with the flange. So this is a Cessna brand. I bought another one from Abilene Machine that I'm going to take the bolts out and attach it back to this flange. I have the correct gear on this. It seems that the early models had a 15 tooth sprocket and this has the 17 tooth which I understand is what you want. That also means that it has the longer suction tube. This goes across the middle of the tractor into the filter the filter housing and so I guess this is a little longer than the early varieties. That's what they recommend now. So the filter is on this side, on the right hand side. I've got it taken apart here. And the flange that came off. I'm going to put a bigger filter in it one that people online say is quite quite good, makes the hydraulics better, it can deal with more flow, does a better job with providing the hydraulic pressure, not being restrictive in the filter. On the left hand side is the pump housing. Now this is where the pump came out of. There's the gear that's attached to the engine. And that's where you can see all the way through to the filter bay. So I just took the flange bolts out, detached the equipment hydraulics and the power steering hydraulics from it. This is the older filter that was in it. Let's go over here and look at the new stuff I've got. So this is the new filter. As you can tell, it's quite a bit bigger. I need to take that screen off. You take the screen off and put it on that new filter. Here's the housing from Allied Precision out of Iowa. That makes the housing bigger so it can deal with this bigger filter. Came with the gasket that I need. This is the pump that I got. I need to take that sprocket off, put it onto here. It came with O-ring set, which is very good. Replace the O-rings. And that's it. We'll see how it goes. Got the old pump off the flange. It's got a couple O-rings that need to be replaced. These tabs that you can see kept it on there. It took a little bit of effort to get it off. This is the new pump. New pump. The smaller steering power steering pump needs to attach to here, so there was just a plate attached to this and then the new gasket and everything. So I'm trying to take the power steering pump off of the main pump, auxiliary pump. And so I got the support bolts out. These are just to hold the two power steering pump pieces together and it's not wanting to come off very bad. It's quite mated right there. I've hit it with a sizable hammer and a crowbar without any success. I was able to get the sprocket off of the other one onto this one and the key needed to be shaped so it took me a while on the new one. The old key slid into place. The new pump has a different 
kind of a key that was attached and it needs to be shaped a little bit to get it to fit that sprocket to fit right on there. So making progress.